Hi guys, I'm Joel of High Gear Media, and we are standing here with Derek Jenkins. He is the Director of Design for Mazda North America, and we are standing next to Takiri Concept. Derek, thanks for taking the time to talk with thanks, us. Thanks, Joel. Obviously, the design in Mazda is in a renaissance, kind of. Yeah. Uh, we've got Kodo, Soul of Motion Design. It's their new uh, design motif. And the Takiri Concept is the next evolution of that. Obviously, it started with the CX-5. Talk a little about where that design came from and how it's evolved from the new CX-5 to the new Takiri Concept, which is the new Mazda 6 coming right. soon. I mean, the last two and a half years at Mazda has been really exciting. You know, we've made a big shift in our design direction, in our platform technologies with Skyactiv. It really started with the Shinari concept vehicle in Which 2010. Is gorgeous. Thank you. Now we're here at the New York show with Takiri Concept. And Takiri represents not only the next step in Coda design, but also where we're going with our midsize sedan, which is today the Mazda 6. Mm -hmm. This is kind of really indicative of how that car is going to look in the future. Obviously, this is a concept, so there's certain details and stuff that won't be in production. But what I really like about this car is the proportions. You I know? would agree. You've got the flowing fenders, the sharp angular <coughs> headlights, and the grill that runs into the headlights. Absolutely. Which made into production the CX-5, and I would assume, I know you can't say everything, but similar concepts are going to evolve evolve into the production Mazda 6. Right, you saw our new bladed front end on the CX-5, mm -hmm. and that's just the first stage of that. Here with Takiri, it's a lot more three-dimensional. You can see we have a lot more depth, and it's a lot more kind of high-quality feel. Again, trying to get more of that sports sedan, a little bit more upmarket. Can that depth actually make it into production, or is that merely a concept? Is it, is it not okay to make such fine details into a production car like that? The, the, the three-dimensional quality of the front end is really important to get the look. You know, that's part of uh, Kodo design. It's part of our new corporate face, you know, really getting the cars to look more three-dimensional. It gives the car a little bit more aggressive look and a little bit more confident look. So that's something that you will see in our production cars. Also down here we're a lot more pronounced with our lower diffuser that's good for aerodynamics obviously mm -hmm. but also keeps the car really low to the ground you know well and that's something you know portions of this car they really hug the ground and hug the wheels and that's important to note because it makes it look more aggressive as you were saying you know and overall the Kodo design fits very well both in crossover and sedan form so it's unique that you guys can have the same styling language look on so spectacular on so many different types of vehicles. Right. Now, now was that planned from the beginning? And where did this inspiration come from for Kodo? Well, you know, uh, to answer your question, I mean, from the start, we wanted Kodo to be a, a universal enough form language to be applied across our entire lineup. And not to be cookie cutter about it or mm -hmm. cut and paste, to really have some variation mm -hmm. between our products, but with enough of a family face to really build the Mazda brand up. Um, in terms of Kodo's kind of inspiration, it's really about proportion first and foremost, getting the cars to look and feel athletic, look toned, look light. Those, those are the key elements. You see it in the CX-5, the car looks poised and lightweight and agile, and it is. You know, the car handles like that. It's a real road athlete in that respect for a crossover and looks very lean, you know? So we're trying to get that feeling as well with uh, Mazda 6 which then gets into our surface language. This is like how we handle the sculpting and the contouring, keeping the surfacing very precise and very um, accurate, you know, and really lean and muscular. And that's the other part of, of, uh, of Coda Design. The last element of Coda Design is the detailing. We talked a little bit about the blade-like quality up front, the three-dimensional nature, really kind of machine materials, and that's both on the exterior as well as the interior that kind of communicates that. So, you know, Coda Design, I think, has, it's not a, a it shouldn't be a short-term thing. It's something that we want to evolve and develop. We even have advanced programs right now looking at, you know, farther in the future, next generation, and how this is going to evolve. So it's, it's a big part of, of Mazda Design right now. And we, I know you're very busy and we don't take a lot of your time. The last question we're going to ask you is, as you just mentioned actually, Coda Design is now on CX-5, going to be on the Mazda 6 Takari concept. How do you see the soul of motion design evolving over time? What elements do you see in the evolution? You know, I would say more of the core values of Coda Design. Our proportions are going to get more and more dramatic, more and more athletic, trying to get the cars looking sleeker and lower. We don't want this to be a trendy design um, theme. We want it to be something that lives well, ages well, and builds value over time. So, you know, it's something that we're going to keep quite, quite pure. Uh, but I can tell you, you know, with the advanced work we have going on, it's, it's really exciting. I mean, it's, 
you know, if, if you like where we're at now, you're going to love where we're going. Well, and you know what? That's funny is because we really do like where they're at right now. We think this new design direction is fantastic. Like you said, it's aggressive, it's pronounced, and it's distinctive. And that this market today, distinctive is what's going to sell. Again, I am Joel Hager Media. We've been speaking with Derek Jenkins. He is the design director for Mazda North America, and we're talking about the new Kodo Solar Design. Thank you so much for taking the time. To Thanks, speak with Joel. Us. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Thank you.